Now we'll take a look at data binding in AngularJS. AngularJS provides two-way data binding. Data binding can be defined as a process that establishes a connection between the application UI and business logic. If the settings and notifications are correctly set, the data reflects changes when made. It can also mean that when the UI is changed, the underlying data will reflect that change. So now we'll see a code example of the same where we will be exploring data binding in AngularJS. In order to demonstrate two-way data binding, let's create a simple HTML form. So what we have over here is a simple HTML code where we have included the AngularJS library. And then in order to make this as a Angular app, we need to have this directive ng app defined over here at the start of the HTML so that this whole section that we have is now considered as an Angular application. Now you can see that we have a label and an input box over here for first name and then last name. So in order to make use of the data binding using Angular JS, we have to make use of a directive which is known as ng model. So over here let's say we have a ng model called first name and then we have another ng model as last name. Now these are defined. Let's say we want to display the same first name and last name as soon as the user enters them in the text boxes. So for that, let's say we have to put some code, which we can do like this. So we have first name and then last name. We can use expressions to show that particular value. So first name will be displayed over here. We can also make use of another directive called ngbind which will just do the same what this expression is doing. So over here we can see that we have a two-way data binding when a model variable is bound to a HTML element that can both change and display the value of the variable. In general we could have more than one HTML element bound to the same variable. We use the ngModel directive to bind a model variable to the HTML element that can not only display its value but also change it. In this example, we have bind the first name and last name model variables to a couple of HTML text boxes. Now when the page is loaded, the value of the input elements are initialized to those of the respective model variables. And whenever the user types something in an input, the value of the model variable is modified as well. So if I now run this in browser, over here you can see that we have these text boxes and then labels coming just below them. So over here let's type a name, John, and then we can type a last name, Matt. So that way you can see that as soon as we are typing the first name is getting displayed over here and when we are typing the last name, the last name is also getting updated over here in the span. So that way we make use of ng model directive to implement two-way data binding.